ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾನಿ ಮನೋ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ರಸಾದೇಹಿ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಮುಚ್ಚತೆ ಇದೈರ್ಯ ಮೋಹಯ ದೇಶ ಜ್ಞಾನವಾಹ ವೃತ್ತಿ ದೇಹಿನ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೀಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೀಟ್ ದಿ ಎನಿಮಿ ಕಾಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೋಧ್ ವೈ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವೈ ವೈರ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ enemy seated in one's body organs mind and intellect these three uh, three uh, organs organs mind and intellect are its seat to sit on in one's body etair yumohayatesh by these three this calm and crowd vimohayatesha destroys the god consciousness of atma and keeps him away from knowledge of god consciousness adav indreshu satsu tishtati first it it steps in in organs For instance, yatha chakshya shatru dhrishta, just as when you see your enemy, see with eyes, you lose, you lose temper at once, when you see any enemy, you can't remain, you lose your temper at once. do you understand yes. huh yeah. you start to breathe heavily huh you start to breathe heavily your heart <coughs> you breathe heavily and i want i want to quit huh quit that place at once because if I, i would i would kill that enemy but if i have not power to kill him still i want to quit from that place i don't want to stand there at all so it it appears in in organs first yatha chakshya shatru drishta indre pradeshe eva krodham atmano janti in in first it gives shape in indre tato manasi then then it treads in mind what to do what remedy i i should do to get rid of this enemy tato buddha then it passes in intellect what what used to be decided for him if he has no power to kill him Hmm? because he is also powerful he won't let him kill eta daryan mohyan moham janyan gyanam nashyati so god consciousness is subsided it is shattered to pieces there is no hope for maintaining god consciousness at all for him god consciousness consciousness is shattered to pieces by this enemy i say nivarane upayama now i'll tell you how to get rid of this this enemy tasmatam yendriyanyadau nemya bar darshavam papanam prajihenam gyan vigyan nashanam tasmat adau yendriyani nemi whenever you see your enemy with eyes just quit and sit in your bedroom lock it inside and get subsided don't say a word to him 
This is the best way of getting rid of this uh, enemy. If you stay there, something bad will happen. You lose consciousness. <laughs> your lips will open, tremble and you'll dash down your father, you'll dash down your mother, you'll dash down kids and kids there and you'll slap them. You'll be furious just wild, wild beast all around you in your house. So it is better for you to quit and lock yourself inside. And it is Jnan and Vijnan. This destroys Jnan and Vijnan. Jnan means Jnana means God consciousness. Vijnana means the trick of uh, achieving God consciousness. Trick of achieving God consciousness and God consciousness, both, both are destroyed by this enemy. Ada papmanam krodam teja. So you must abandon it for good. This is the essence of this. Atra yuktim shlokadayanaha. Now he places two shlokas how to get rid of this enemy. Yendriyani paranyahur, yendriyabhyaha paramanam, manasastu parabuddhir, yo buddhye paradasu sam, evam buddhye param buddha. Samstabhyasmanamatmanam Jai Shatrum Mahabaho Kamarupam Durasadam Just think with yourself. Yindriyani Paranyahur. There are organs which see, which see, which see this, this enemy. But these organs are not mine. Yendriyani Paranyahur. Yendriyabhya Paramana. And, and man is, man has nothing to do with Yendriyas. Mind. Mind has nothing to do with, it is, mind is separate from organs. And intellect is Absolutely separate from mind. Yo buddhye partha susa. And my nature, my atma is absolutely separate from all these three. So my soul is above these three. Why should I come into their grip? Indriyas, man and intellect. Jai Shatram and kill this enemy, O Arjuna, which is Kama Rupam Durasadam, which is, which is not conquered by anybody in this world. Evam Yendri Utpanyena Krodhyena Katham Manaso Budir Atmano Akhyoba you should think over it. How Atma can be moved by, by activity of these three organs? Which organs? The mind, intellect, and the organs. Yes. Rasi I am Ashiya. Some elevated soul commentate upon in this, these shlokas in this way, where I have no objection, where I have sympathy. Buddhariya paradra varte paro ankara. That is, 
above buddhi there is universal universal i above buddhi there is universal i before universal i i am calm i am crowd i am everything i am everything what to me i am everything what can only crowd do or calm do to me i will be unmoved so it is universe universality this is abhinav gupta's favorite favorite uh, procedure do you understand para para ankara supreme universal aham universal i universal i consciousness is beyond that in universal i consciousness this is also digested in one god common crowd common crowd is nothing common crowd is just one ray of that for instance there is big ocean there are tides there are bubbles like this if this is one bubble what will bubble how will bubble um, agitate this ocean it can't be agitated it is bubble what can bubble do so you should be above that you should remain above that in uh, universal god consciousness that way also there is no fear of karma and krodha atra sangraha shloka there is this conclusion of this this chapter dhanani daram deham cha yo nyate na de gachadi kim naam taise kurvandi krodha dya chit vibramam my property my wife my body my kids and kins i am not i am not my body i am not my bank balance i am not my child i am not my brothers i am not my father i am not my husband i am not my wife i am separate about it kim naam tasi kurvandi krodha dyaschit me how can krodh or kaam arise there in universal universality universal god consciousness this is the conclusion of here ends the third chapter of bhagavad gita